Okay, so we are here once again in Legacy Clickers, and again we have another massive, massive update to go through. So, as usual, we'll go through this update, and we'll go from probably the smaller things to the bigger and better things, um, and yeah. So, starting off, if you come into here, into the Rebirths and the titles, as you can see, there is a new section that has the new Starlight titles. Um, so, as you can see, this one has uh, this one is for one Starlight, five Starlights, ten Starlights, and fifteen. However, you might be thinking, why can't we hatch these, or well, why can't we use um, these titles yet? And that is because it only counts the Starlights hatched after the update has been released. So, all the ones you have hatched beforehand don't actually count towards these titles, and that is basically the same for all the games. Um, so it's not only this game that it happens to, it's just the same for all the games. Um, but yeah, basically, every starlight that you hatch afterwards will count towards this. Um, so don't worry if you think you should have the title, it's basically just kind of how Roblox works. Um, moving on, if I can just quickly find the update log, um, we do have a new feature in the settings. So obviously we have a new world and obviously with a new world obviously comes um, a new currency. So with a new currency it's obviously meaning that you'll only be getting one when you first go in there. So obviously each click you'll only be getting one, 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 one. Um, and basically obviously to make it easier to then hatch the first egg, instead of ha having to save up for double the amount of egg, you can turn this off and now just buy one egg which will make it a lot easier. Um, to basically start grinding in the new worlds and stuff. So a very useful feature indeed. Um, and obviously I'm going to keep it on because I've already done this. Um, yeah, very cool and useful feature indeed. Um, moving on, we have another very requested feature. So coming into the index here, as you can see down here we have a rewards tab. And coming through this, as you can see, there are the worlds and stuff like that. And obviously under each world is each egg. And obviously once you have completed each egg, you can get the new uh, boosts from the rewards. So as you can see, this one is five out of five for the common egg. And that, that means I could claim two boosts for the shiny chance, two boosts for the lucky chance, and one boost for the clicks. And that is the same for every single world. Um, I don't believe the um, limiteds are on here. Maybe they'll get added in the future, maybe not. But these are basically all for the permanent worlds at the moment. Um, so obviously very cool indeed and obviously as you can see the harder the worlds get and the harder the eggs become the more boost you can gain out of them so very cool indeed um, and continuing on um, I know you guys are really excited to see these two things on the screen uh, but we'll get to them in a little minute um, obviously there is codes for the update and I'll leave the codes in the comment section down below as I usually do in the pinned comment and yeah Let's now move on to what this thing is over here. So as you can see, very Christmas themed. This will be the Christmas portal that releases on the 4th of December. As you can see, it does say coming soon. And when you try going through it, obviously nothing happens. But very cool looking indeed. Obviously, this is kind of like a little leak of what um, the Christmas world will probably look like. Um, so very cool indeed. I'm very excited for that. That comes out on the 4th of December. So yeah. Now we have the main two features of the update. We have a charged pets and obviously the new world that I talked about before. So let's go over charged pets because I think this is probably one of the main features that will keep the game going for a very long time. So obviously once you come into here, as you can see, you are met with charged pets and three different tabs. So obviously as you can see, you can use this to make the charged pets. So once you click this and press view pets, as you can see, you are met by uh, only your legendaries and starlights. Um, epics and below uh, cannot get charged, mainly because what's the point? Um, but yeah, basically, this can only work, be worked on legendaries and starlights. And all you'll do is you'll just kind of click on it. It'll come up down below um, with how much it will cost. So obviously, a normal legendary will cost 500 million crystals. A shiny one is 1 billion crystals, a normal starlight is 2.5 billion crystals, and a shiny starlight is 5 billion crystals. Um, now, unfortunately, I obviously can't put this on yet because I have no stations left, and that is because I have already charged some pets before, and they are currently on cooldown. So obviously, once you press confirm, and your pets will come over to here, um, so let me just quickly show you again, uh, over to this other tab over here, the charging stations, and it will basically appear in these little slots here 
and it it takes uh, six hours to charge your pets. Um, but it does actually show you the pet. Obviously, it doesn't show me the pet right now um, because obviously, once you take the pets off, you get a four-hour cooldown, and it's basically quite expensive, um, and obviously, it's quite time-consuming. Pardon me for burping. It is obviously quite time consuming, but that is because the pets are extremely overpowered. Um, so we'll show them off in a little bit. Um, but basically, as you can see, these are on cooldown right now. And once you claim your pet back, it only has a chance to succeed and become charged. Um, most of the time, if you claim your pet back, it probably will come back normal. And that is because there is a 1 in 5 chance of it becoming charged. Um, which is also a 20% chance, which isn't exactly too bad. And obviously, for every five pets you put on, most likely you'll get a charged pet. Obviously, that's not guaranteed, as because chance is never guaranteed. However, basically, if you put on basically ten pets over time, as you can see, you can only put on three at a time. Um, but obviously, if you put on ten pets over time, you'll most likely get at least one, maybe two, maybe even three if you are quite lucky. Um, and yeah, and another thing, as you can see over here, is this tab that says no skips left. You can buy skips for 79 Robux, and obviously that will skip the um, charge time from 6 hours all the way down to 0, and you can instantly claim your pet back then. And obviously this doesn't exactly guarantee it will become uh, charged either, it is still a 1 in 5% uh, percent chance. Um, so yeah, very uh, hard indeed to get charged pets back, and obviously very expensive, but that is because they're very overpowered. And as you can see here right now, we have a Spore God and a 50k Masked Spirit Lord Shiny that is charged. So let's just go over the normal Spore God. As you can see, this is 800 clicks, 650 crystals, and 515 mushrooms. And coming over to the charged one, this is 1.2975 crystals and 772 mushrooms. So basically, when you charge a pet, it times this to the stats by 1.5. As you can see, from 800 to 1.2 thousand, that is a 1.5 times jump, which is very cool indeed. Um, and obviously, it makes it very overpowered. And as you can see, the shiny mass spirit lord I had before is now 2.25 thousand clicks, 1.8 thousand crystals, and 1.5 thousand mushrooms. Again, extremely overpowered and just absolutely insane. And basically this means, um, this is basically the strongest type of pet you can get right now. Um, so obviously once you make a shiny one, it already doubles the stats. And then once you charge it, you get an extra 1.5 times boost on top of that. So very overpowered indeed. Um, and I believe um, it basically comes to a 3 times boost. Um, if I'm correct, maybe I'm not correct. Uh, but yeah, definitely a very cool feature indeed. And... If we just quickly show off what these look like, so I'm going to unequip them all and I'll equip a normal spore god and then obviously the charged spore god so we can just see the slight difference um, between the pets. Um, so as you can see, this is um, a normal spore god over here on the right and on the left we have the charged one as you can see by the little yellow lightning bolts that come out of it and obviously if you have your graphics up higher this is more prominent but I have my graphic settings on one, just so the video doesn't lag. Um, but yeah, there is a slight difference there, as, as you can see, um, with the lightning bolts and stuff. So very cool indeed. Now, we're moving on um, to the new world. So as you can see, we have the mushroom world. And beyond that, we have the new food world. So this is a silver one. Um, and as you can, if, if you come to the ranks, as you can see, this is 25 billion clicks and 4.5 million rebirths. Um, to get so kind of hard to get obviously for the new players it will be definitely hard to get um, however it also costs 9.5 million crystals which is a 5.5 million crystals uh, jump from the last world however this world is definitely very overpowered as you can see we have two new eggs at the moment we have the yolk egg and the food egg one costs 500 cookies and the other one costs 5,000 cookies and there is also a new um, well an egg uh, kind of pod here that hasn't been used at the moment so maybe we'll get a new egg in the future. That'll be very cool indeed. Um, but let's basically just go over some stats. So as you can see, I have the, the, the two legendaries out of these new eggs. So we'll just go over them. So this is the last legendary out of the um, 
what do you call it, the mushroom world, the Swore Witch Doctor. This does 125 clicks, 115 crystals, and 100 mushrooms. And the Egg Angel here is the new um, legendary out of the cheaper egg, the Yolk Egg. And as you can see, it is a little bit weaker at 115 clicks and 105 crystals. But obviously, the cookies is definitely a very important feature as well. Um, so obviously, it's a little bit weaker, and that is because it is probably a lot easier to get the egg, to be fairly honest. Um, as you can see, the mushroom one, um, the Sport Witch Doctor egg, uh, which is a Sport egg, is a little bit harder to get just because it is the most expensive mushroom egg. And this one is a lot easier to get as it is the cheapest cookies egg. Um, but yeah, very overpowered still. Uh, and obviously, once you get a shiny one, that is 200 cookies, which is really, really, really good. Um, however, you can skip some of the time and go straight for a watermelon dragon in the 5,000 cookie egg. So this does 250 clicks, 225 crystals and 200 cookies, which is really overpowered. I believe this is uh, the same or maybe even slightly better than the shiny 50k master. And obviously the shiny version here, as you can see, 500 clicks, 450 crystals and 400 cookies, which is just absolutely insane. For those who only have like the Domini and Sectum and stuff, I do feel sorry for you because these are now way stronger and way easier to get. Um, so yeah, very, very good indeed. Um, so let's just show these off. I'll, I'll equip a shiny one, a normal one, and then also equip the Egg Angel. So as you can see, the Egg Angel here, we're going to have to come over to here a little bit just so it's not blocked out by the white in the background. But as you can see, um, it's basically an egg that is an angel, and obviously going with an angel it's obviously got some nice glow to it this is probably done with a neon effect and stuff um, a very cool looking uh, pet indeed and nearly said egg then it is obviously an egg cool looking egg but also a cool looking pet and obviously this could have probably been used as an egg on its own maybe like an angel egg or something um, so it's very cool looking indeed and obviously I like that a lot then we have the watermelon dragon uh, a little bit more like you would have seen in other games However, it always has a unique twist on it, and this obviously has amazing looking wings with slightly cracked looking wings and stuff. Sorry if you can hear the barking outside, I don't know there's a dog outside. Um, but obviously this is the shiny version too. Um, so going from the green and red to the mint green and the pink, very cool looking indeed, and obviously it's really overpowered for your cookies and stuff. And obviously if I equip my best cookies team, um, it should, there we go, it just equips a full load of these watermelon dragons, as you can see, very kind of um, scary looking indeed, to be honest, um, I wouldn't like these guys to be staring at me in a circle like this, however, obviously, they are on my side, um, so yeah, very cool indeed, obviously, the sandwich egg, or the food egg, sorry, looks very cool, and the yolk egg, obviously, looks very cool indeed, now, let's just quickly get into the starlights, so as you can see, we're coming to the index, and just scroll, um, all the way down to the bottom here as you can see um, there is only one legendary in each of these eggs so that obviously does mean there are three new starlights as you can see by the three um, hidden pets so is, there is one in the yolk egg and I'm just gonna have to quickly go to the starlights hatches channel just to see the chance of this thing so I believe this is called the yolk monarch and it does show one in 200,000 chance on the bot However, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be 1 in 1 million. Um, I believe Alpha has corrected that. So I'm pretty sure this one here, um, if we come back, this one in the yolk egg here, as you can see, we can't click on it. But I believe this is 1 in 1 million, and it is called the yolk monarch. Um, and then obviously we have the other ones in the food egg. This one here is called, they have some really weird names, but I believe there is a reason behind them. Um, so the first one here is called the Demeter. Um, and I believe that it is, it's something to do with like the God of Harvest or something like that. Um, I believe Chloe was explaining it in the uh, Discord channels. Uh, but I believe this is one, this is the Demeter. This is one in 500,000. Um, and I believe it is something to do with the um, God of Harvest or something like that, God of Ag Agriculture. Um, but very overpowering indeed. And a really, really cool looking pet. It's a shame that I don't have it yet. Um, hopefully we can hatch it very soon so I can show it off, but it's a very cool looking pet. And then this one over here, um, I believe it, there is only two hatches at the moment. Um, but this one is called the Ad 
Oh my god, this is going to be an absolute butcher of a name, but um, it's called the Adaphagia. Adaphagia, maybe. Um, it is a blue pet, and this is 1 in 2 million, so we have the new hardest pet to hatch in 1 in 2 million. But it's, again, a very cool looking pet. I believe um, Chloe said this one is a favourite looking pet. Um, so obviously, once a builder likes the pets, you know it's a very good looking pet indeed. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have these yet. So I can't quite show off the stats, um, but at least you know the, uh, the chances and stuff. And also, as you can see at the top of the screen, there is a times two look event, which is very cool indeed. Um, so obviously these will be quite easy to hatch, especially with the new codes and stuff, and the new boost you can get from the index reward. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.